Hi. Hi, Jolyn. Welcome to class. How are you today? Great. Wonderful. Me too. And let's see, what did you do today? Tell me about your day. I went to school. Okay, awesome. And did you have lunch with your friends at school? Well, we eat lunch at our tables. Oh, in the classroom? Well, yeah, we don't change. We like sit in our seat, eat. Okay, we eat lunch in the classrooms. Okay. That's awesome. Yes, um, we have a big cafeteria. So everyone lines up and then we go to a space called the cafeteria. Oh well, yeah, that's why I read the book. You can just choose your lunch or bring it to school. Some people even bring chips. Well, our school provides our lunch. Okay, okay. And do they deliver it to the classroom or do you have to go grab your lunch? Well, they deliver boxes and then we have to go get our balls, get to the place. And for example, this is a ball. We have to get there. People will put the things on it, in it, kind of. And then we'll go back to our seat. Wait for our oh. teacher says, you can eat it. And oh. Then we eat it. Oh, great. Okay. I like that. I like that system. Wonderful. Well, I'm glad that you had a good day. And then after school, what did you do today after school? I finished my homework. Wow. What a good student you are. That's right. Go, Jolyn. And what classes did you have homework for? What kind of homework? Chinese. Chinese math. Okay, I did my Chinese and math homework. All right, good. I'm really proud of you for doing your homework. That's an important part. We learn at school, but we have to practice, right? We must get our practice in. Oh, yeah. Good. And Are I got you lizards there? Lizards. Yeah, yeah, and I got your message. We're on the same thought here. I saw you would like to uh, talk more about the reptiles and amphibians. And actually, right now, let's chat about it before I pick him up, because I just took a look. Mm -hmm. And his back is all fanned out. Whenever we fanned. sunbathe, yeah, fanned, like wide. When we sunbathe <laughs> outside, we might lay like this to get the sun on our arms and our back. So we yeah. might lay like that. So he is doing that, and his whole back is really wide right now. He's fanning it out. I'll try to show you as I pick him up. Good morning, eight. Good morning. Are you sunbathing? Maybe like good night because nice, nice morning. <laughs> yes, he's happy. He's, he's like, it's a nice morning. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so there's his back, and he kind of, he kind of um, went back to his regular shape, right? But he had this all wide he can sort of stretch it out almost like we can stretch our arms out he can puff his back up mm. Hello. The, this is a bearded dragon yes the red light will hit his whole back whenever he does that so that's why he likes to there's <laughs> a hole sunbathe yeah. yes yes there's this little ear and his beard and he's really you gonna shave his beard <laughs> <laughs> He has a little spiky beard. Spiky. And I ordered him more millworms this week, so they should be here any day now. And he'll like his fresh bugs. <laughs> Actually, my mom doesn't like these pets because because the food is bugs. Why yeah. did I even got a comedian's food and say, oh, no, it's all bugs. Like, right, take it away. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's just a small little container of millworms. I keep it in the refrigerator inside another box, inside a bag, inside a drawer. So I have it, I have the little tiny container in a box, in a bag, in a drawer, in the bottom of the fridge. Okay, so when they're kept in the refrigerator, the millworms stay cold and they live longer. Okay, but yes, bugs. Oh, I don't know about that part, right? And, okay, so this is eight. Okay. Uh, 
Let's go ahead and open up a tab. I'll keep him in class. How about that? He'll stay in class for right now. And we'll try to find his toad friend today because you asked about an amphibian. And toads and frogs are amphibians. And it's March and the weather's starting to get nice. I did see ants crawling on the sidewalk outside. So that means it's starting to get warm. The ground's warming up. So I can wake him up. I'll wake him up today during class. And hopefully he doesn't mind. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully he doesn't mind being woken up. So let's look on National Geographic for kids and read about amphibians first. And then we'll wake him up. Isn't he already awake? I thought he was in the other one. The toad? The toad? Oh, in... Yes. The toad? I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, I must have left him out last time. The toad and the frog, or I'm sorry, the toad and the lizard live together, and the frog and the gecko live together. So, frog toad, and gecko. toad and lizard, frog and gecko. Toad and lizard, frog and gecko. Yeah, so they each have a friend. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think they like their friends because, um, well, I didn't tell you that a toad lived in that tank, so now I get to tell you a fun story. Um, the toad and the lizard are actually friends. And one day I came in the classroom and the toad was on the lizard's back and he was riding him across the tank. The lizard was crawling and the toad was riding on his back. It was so, so funny. Oh, look at that. I know, he's adorable. He he fell, he says, whoops. Oops, then, he's gotta get out. Yeah. yeah. Tarantula, is that tarantula? I think so. Ooh, yeah. Tarantula. It sure is. Creepy spooky. And the and the first one's a cane toad, but um, it's just, yeah, this is the one I was looking for. Okay. okay. So we also have a couple other animals we got to take a look at. But this is the cane toad, and this is the kind that we have. Let me switch them over. So the gecko and the lizard are from the pet stores, but the toad and the frog are from outside. You just pick it outside. Boop. You will be my lizard's friend. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, toads. Yeah, this is our end in the map. Okay, you'll be my friend. <laughs> <laughs> you will be my new friend. Yes. Um, the toads and frogs live outside. And in summer, if you go out in the evening in summer, you will find them hopping around the buildings by the grass. Yeah, well, you'll have to catch them first. Once I see a toad, the toad, and then I come chasing after it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You have to pick them up. Yep. And um, they make a little noise. Some of the toads make a noise. Quack. Like a, like a little vibration kind of noise. Quack. Yeah. I got like quack, quack. They kind of like that, sort of, yeah. And well, yeah, I that's the sign supposed to make. Yeah, I have to look again. I can't remember if it's the boy or the girl cane toad. Uh, which cane toad makes the noise? Can toad? Yeah, the cane. See, like candy cane. C A N E. Candy canes are so tasty. Yeah, exactly. Candy canes are good. Oh, it's the female frog. Female, female frogs okay. are able to work out the size of different. Wait, do female toads make a noise? Yeah, they sing. Oh, okay. Here we go. I'm gonna have you read it to me. Here's the answer. Do female cane toads make a noise? And then read that. Imagine results for which cane toads make the noise boy or girl females have smooth brown skins, whereas breeding males 
have rough yellow skin, but the easiest way to tell sex of an adult toad is to pick it up, hold it behind its forelegs. Males give a result call a short trio, whereas females are silent. Silent. It's like ow ow ow. ow. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Exactly. They're quiet. So if you pick up the toad and he goes, <laughs> you know that's a boy toad. That's your.、Oh. The quiet ones、that's、are the girls. That's easy. Yeah. So that's fun. And the males are also dark. I mean, lighter. The females are darker. So I think that's a female. Or that. Yeah, that's a female. And the one sitting this way is a male, and the one behind him is a female. I think. Okay. All right. So these are toads. Kind of get it. Yeah, and then read to me about this toad. Let me see. Um, cane toads have introduced in some places to control pets, but they are not considered pets themselves. Yeah, in、um, a pest. A pest is something that you don't want. A pest might be like a bug or something you don't want. Maybe a mouse. What a pest! You don't want that thing. Not a pet. A pest. Okay. Oh. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. So maybe too many of them, and people think, "Oh, I don't want that animal around." Okay, and then read this part. Cane toads have poison that can kill animals that try to eat them. Yeah, so you don't want to eat that toad. And some animals might try to eat it, but will spit it back out because they know it's poisonous if they eat it. Ugh. Dog soy.、Yeah. I hope that your lizard doesn't eat the toad. <laughs> Yeah, no, they—they they are friends. They won't do anything like that. But I don't want the, you know, dog. My dog doesn't like to do stuff like this, but some dogs like to bite at little animals by lakes or rivers. And you don't want your dog to pick up a toad, okay? Well, maybe a dog will do this. Good boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Oh no, no. <laughs> yeah, like a wiseness. Oh, my legs! Is like don't, no smell. Yeah. Don't get close to the toad. Bite、no、him a little bit. <laughs> Be nice. <laughs> so the keen toad. Hmm. Okay, let's look at their group name. Like a herd, you know, a group is a、well, group of、not? animals. All together,、oh, yeah. a knot. I thought that word was weird. Instead of a herd or a flock, like a birds, they're a knot or a nest of toads. If there's yes, a that sounds a bit weird. Nest sounds like it's for birds. Yeah. So if you see a lot of toads, you would say that's a knot of toads. That's a nest of toads. I don't get close. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> And how big do they get? How big do they get? Four to six inches is that big? It's like this. It's about as big as my hand. Your hand is a bit bigger than mine. <laughs> yeah, it is just a little bit. And then they could weigh up to three pounds, almost three pounds. Oh, actually, talking about that, I remember something that in the classes with the other teacher and then with other students too. I three students and one teacher, and then. And then the teacher was like eating cookies, and then and then he's like, "Oh, give it to us!" And he just for simple, this is a cookie. But I got it just like this. Okay, eat it. And then they're like, "Oh, I cannot reach it." And then I just said, "Smash your spoon, and then you can get it." <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah, cookies. Well, that was kind of nice of the teacher to share those cookies. Well, yeah, I was like, smash your screen, and then you can get it. And then and he's like, no, 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 don't eat that. <laughs> yeah, I bet not. Say、like, no, I think I'll pass on the cookie, right? <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah, well, like the cookie is like chips, but in fries shape. Oh, okay. Chip okay. fries. Okay, 
maybe even called like a shortbread cookie. Does it taste sweet or salty? I, I don't know. I haven't eaten. <laughs> oh, you haven't eaten it. Okay. No, it's not this. No, no, no. It's not like this. It's like chips, but, but fries. Chips, but the shape of the fries. Oh, okay. Like crispy fries. Yeah, yeah, we call them like cheddar fries here too, or hot fries. Same thing, we have those. Hot fries are spicy, cheddar, like just cheesy. Oh, I think I'll eat the cheddar fries. Yeah, I actually like those. Um, they're pretty good. They're a nice These snack. These are so tasty! <laughs> yeah, they are good. I wouldn't want to eat them all the time, but sometimes. And... Tell me, how long does the toad live? Um, five to ten years. Whoa. Yes, awesome. So now I think it's time that we meet the toad. Are you ready? Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, not toad. <laughs> yes, add all the music and effects. Okay. Dun, 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 and I will dun. stand this way so you can see me. And I'll find him. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can find the toad. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Cherry. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Okay. I think we're in luck. I think I found him. Let me see. Oh, and he says, Happy spring. Good morning. Dun, 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 dun. Whoa, he's been sleeping for so long. My goodness. Dun 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 late November and he's been sleeping and I didn't disturb him. I just let him sleep. I would drop bugs in and fill the water dish, but I didn't bother him. And until now, <laughs> until now. So I just woke him up. So this is kind of special. It's his good morning spring. Hello. Um, spring. Well, I did three months already enough. Yeah. I think he had a nice long nap. He looks like he's grown. He's about the size he of the like, like, He's like, why do you wake me up? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, this little gland. <laughs> and he looks full grown. He looks like he's been <laughs> eating over winter when I drop the oh, bugs dude. in. Maybe he's been grabbing a few as they go down into the dirt and burrow down. Maybe he has a sneaky little spot to eat underground. I think he likes being pet. Do, 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 yeah, he's like, yeah, how do you do it like this? Do, 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 do. You guys, buddy. <laughs> oh, okay, that looks comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if the lizard can run out the frog's toad's back. <laughs> yeah, um, well, he rode on the lizard's back. But I don't know. Yeah, I think if the lizard run on his back, he'll literally collapse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, he wants to look at you. Okay. Hello. And then you nice can to meet you. His... My name is Jody. How's your day? Oh. <laughs> Whoa, he says I'm so good. He's like, look at my belly. It's nice and full. And it's... Whoa. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Hello. He says... <laughs> I'm a little acrobatic. I'm. I just woke up and I got a lot of energy. Whoa! I've been sleeping for months. This looks. This angle is a bit fatter. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. 
So let's see. Let's um scroll down and I'll grab the yoga ball here. Yoga? Yeah. I teach well, on it. Yoga ball. Yoga ball. It's my seat. I don't think he, he might like sitting on the yoga ball, but he would probably jump off of it. Yeah, it's just a, a giant well, ball. Maybe, you well, can of sit course on. I jump off. Maybe I was like, if, that, if he was a, a bad shoe, squish. <laughs> yes, I think he would like yeah. to sit on it. Then he would just fall off. And my hands you are can a little make a bit. a small ball for him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he has a little bowl. I'll fill it up with water, and then I'll clean my hands after we're done. It's a little clean wipe. Well, I was just about to say your hands look dirty. <laughs> yes, from the dirt. He was, see, what took me a minute to get him is he was buried underneath the dirt. So whenever I say well, he was hibernating, I had to dig, yeah, to find him. And there's, um, you can see the layer of dirt and moss here. It's about three inches deep and he was on the far right side of the tank and I knew that but I had to still search for him a little bit and he had tucked himself under the water bowl to hibernate <laughs> so that way when the water came he could just get a little sip and he didn't have to move very far while he was yeah. sleeping yeah just a little sip so he That's seems happy, happy. After his hibernation. Is the bearded dragon still on your shoulder? No, he's in the tank. He, he was watching me oh. dig out his toad friend. So I think he's going to be excited. Like, oh, wow, my friend's awake. We're going to have a fun day. <laughs> and he uh, has all these what? little bumps. These are little bumps on his back. Well, yeah, that's how you see if it's a frog or a toad. Exactly. Is he smooth or bumpy? The toads are bumpy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So good. And I'll let you I read, read it. In science. Oh, you learned that in science. That's you awesome. Okay, let me see how it was the correct word because science, I don't have science here. Wait. We're biology class. Oh, look, Let me just use the Google Translator. Oh, the nature class. Oh, that's great. I'm impressed that you knew that about the skin. Yeah, the skin of a toad is bumpy and the skin of a frog is smooth. And that's one <laughs> way we can tell them apart. <laughs> he thinks my arm is a bridge. I better make it a bridge. Just turn on a spot and he can climb it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I have to give him some support. I don't think he'll fall because now he's getting. I don't think. Oh, look, he wants fall. to be like the lizard. He says, I want to be like the lizard. Put me on your shoulder. <laughs> I'm your toad. Yeah, it's like, okay, it's fine. You're not putting me on your shoulder, then I'm climbing onto it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's He's so like funny. Like a bump on your shoulder. <laughs> like, I've seen classes. I know eight gets to be on your shoulder. I want to go there. Let's <laughs> give it a bump. <laughs> yes, they look really looks like a little bump on your shoulder. He does. Right it's so funny. <laughs> He's like you have a little clay ball like this, <laughs> like this. Yeah. Right on my shoulder, just a little oh, toad. There he yeah, is. Yeah, jump. I just. <laughs> yeah, hopefully he stays on my hand this time. I don't want him jump, to fall. Jump, 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 <laughs> jump on the table. Maybe the keyboard. <laughs> yeah, he did that once. I'll have to clean it off a little. Yeah, just a little dirty. But he, he's. Honestly, he's a very clean animal. He had a tiny bit of dirt on him from being buried, but. He's not, he's not gross or anything. He doesn't, oh, he's not well, sticky actually, either. Once, like, one of my teachers has, oh, actually, it's not sticky. One of my teachers has a cat. And he literally just be on a keyboard, press shift, and then press, press Q. 
and there's a lot of cues and then you just press enter and then and then we're like hmm, what, what are the teachers sending <laughs> <laughs> the cat what is even the message. cat over there walking and then his tail is just in front of the camera doing this <laughs> Yeah, and he says I love the to, animals. Yeah, he attention. Yeah, they, he is. And he wants to be part of it. The animals make it more fun. I think so. So we Oh, can... yeah, but maybe... Actually, once there's a YouTuber says in the video that he was editing a, editing a video, and then the cat comes up, touches his keyboard, and delete everything he was editing, every single word. <laughs> oh, no, what a naughty kitty. Oh, my goodness. And then he's holding the microphone and saying, Cheese, what do you have to say about it? <laughs> so this is all where the cane toads live in the world. Okay, um, and you can see just South America, Mexico. Oh, so you're living in South America? No, I live in Pennsylvania. So where did that frog come from? <laughs> He came from outside. Maybe he's a different kind of native toad. Let me see. Maybe he looks like this cane toad, but maybe they call him something else. Let's see. Toads of Pennsylvania. All right. So a specialist in this type of job is called a herpologist. Okay. And that's where they study all the different exact types of reptiles and amphibians and they have many different special names okay it says one of only two toads in pennsylvania fowler's toad so this isn't a cane toad so i don't have to worry about the dog eating it although i wouldn't let my dog hurt him because they said that the cane toads are poisonous, but this is um, a different. He looks like the cane toad, but he's called a fowler. Oh, Pennsylvania, that's the where the magic treehouse Jack and Annie lived. <laughs> yeah, that's where I live. I had a treehouse growing up. We could even talk about treehouses one day. Yeah, the magic treehouse. That's awesome. Cool. You look a bit fat. <laughs> yeah, he's so healthy. And so he's called a Fowler's toad. I was wrong the first time. But a cane toad is a type of toad. And um, they all, all of the toads go through the same phase in life. So I kind of wanted to tell you about that. It's called metamorphosis. Have you heard of it? No. Okay, it's where they go from a little tadpole, something that swims. Oh, okay, I know. It's like a caterpillar to a butterfly. Yes, exactly. That's metamorphosis. And so what does the toad and frog do? What do you think they do for metamorphosis? They, they first an egg, a tadpole, a half-grown tadpole, and a frog. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> a tadpole with legs, a tadpole with arms, a tadpole with lungs, a, a, and a frog, a frog with tail. <laughs> and it eats his tail. <laughs> Yeah, you've got that 100% right. And the lungs part was important because now they can breathe in the air. They used to breathe in the water like a fish when they were a baby tadpole. <laughs> and that process, it takes how many days? Can you see that on the screen? I don't know. And actually, I got my own YouTube channel. Oh, awesome. That's awesome. And you want to see? Here's I would cool. love to. Thank you. I really appreciate that, Jolyn, and I like talking with you today. So I'll give you, <laughs> I'll give you the final answer. It's twelve to sixty days. Oh, how long? right there. <laughs> yeah. And thank you for making your videos. I think that other students are inspired by you, and that you can learn English, and you work so hard, and that you like meeting with your teachers online. So thank you for sharing. I appreciate it. Well, actually, I got three lists. It's like Cambly tutors, but I've, you're, you're actually on my videos too. There's one where I have you. Oh, awesome. Well, thank you. I'm glad I made the videos. That's exciting. <laughs> well, yeah, because my dad said, because Cambly I filmed it, so my dad just opened OBS, and then just go to work, and then 12 minutes after, it, Rolls down the chat and then is a comma and then stop filming. <gasps> and then and then there's a there's a other Cambly tutors and there's a whoops daisies there's a 
There's a Cambly tutor, another Cambly tutor for some reason. Oh no. Oh, there's a Cambly tutor, a Harry Potter club with my other lessons and a journey without destination. My own channel. Whoa, I'm so impressed about by Minecraft. you. That's awesome. You're such a good influencer. Great job with all your studies. <laughs> Bye, Jolyn. It was Bye. Great.